you might be wondering, what is this miracle morning? How did I go from staying up till one to two o'clock in the morning to setting my alarm for four o'clock, getting out of bed, feeling refreshed, charged, energized, ready to tackle my day? Trust me, I, I'm such a night owl that I never thought I could become a morning person. And I stumbled across this book called The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrod. And reading it, I was like, ah, that's not me. I'll never be able to wake up early. And then I read the book and it just really hit me. So I started. Started setting my alarm for five o'clock in the morning and guess what? It struggled at first, but it started to sink in. There's been a few mornings I've woke up at 3.45 a.m. and guess what, my wife hates that. But I woke up energized, ready to tackle my day. So you're probably wondering, what is a miracle morning? What is it all about? And how do I actually get up at four o'clock? Well, the first thing that's really helped a lot is an app called the Sleep Cycle app. Now this app, I think costs maybe a dollar on iTunes. And what this app does, it tracks your sleep pattern to make sure that if you're going to wake up, it's not waking you up from a deep sleep. It's gonna wake you up when you're starting to move around a little bit. And so that way you wake up, you're just not hitting snooze and hating life. And I started doing using that app in the beginning and that helped a ton. So if you haven't checked that out, check out the Sleep Cycle app. So let's take a look at the key components of a miracle morning. The first thing I do when I wake up is I meditate. Now I will tell you, I've never meditated before I started doing the miracle morning. And meditation might seem kind of weird if you've never done it. And guess what? It was kind of weird. But basically I go in my kid's playroom and I have a little chair that I sit on and I'll sit there in silence for at least three to five minutes. That might sound like a long time, might sound like a short time, but I tell you, my head is always racing. So trying to sit in a moment of silence for up to five minutes is a challenging experience for me. But when I do it, I just feel so good. It just helps clear my mind just to get focused on the day and what I'm trying to accomplish. So after I meditate three to five minutes, then I have my moment of prayer. And the prayer can last anywhere from five minutes, 10 minutes. One morning I actually went for 20 minutes because I had a lot of things I wanted to pray about. So after I meditate and just have that moment of silence, then I just start praying. And what do I pray about? I pray about my wife, my family, my day. So one of the struggles I always had with prayer was just trying to find time in the day. You know, by the time we put the kids to bed after dinner, helping with homework, I was just always too tired. You know, sometimes my wife and I would pray, but I was never really consistent with it. Whenever starting the miracle morning, it's something I do every single day, even if it's for a few minutes. And that's why I'm so thankful to be able to devote that time for prayer, for meditation, and the other things with the miracle morning. The third part of the miracle morning is daily positive affirmations. Now, when I first read this, this was something I've never done before. I've never done daily positive affirmations. Because when I think of daily positive affirmations, I think of Stuart Smalley from Saturday Night Live that will always say to himself, I'm smart enough, I'm good enough, and doggone it, people like me. I'm good enough, I'm smart enough, and doggone it, people like me. So I'm not quite saying that every day, but I do have daily affirmations that encourage myself to be a better husband, a better father, be a better entrepreneur, be a better business owner, be a better leader. And these are things when I first started, I had three positive affirmations. Now I'm up to six. And it takes me, I don't know, just a few minutes to read these out loud, but it just reinforces who I am, who I'm striving to be, how I can be better and just be a better person. The fourth part of the miracle morning is visualization. And what do I do here? So you can either, once again, sit in a moment of silence and just kind of vision your day, you know, what you're trying to do. Me personally, I like to go into our office and we have this huge big whiteboard that we call our big idea board. And on this board, I have my goals, what I'm trying to accomplish each day, each quarter. And I just look at that board trying to think, okay, what am I trying to accomplish today? You know, and how does that fit onto my quarterly goals? And how does that fit into my year goals and my lifetime goals? But I'm constantly staying in that mindset of, you know, what am I trying to accomplish? And make sure that each day I'm focusing on these things. You know, just spending a few minutes visualizing what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to achieve, and just, and just do it. The fifth part is what Hal refers to as scribing, or it could just be writing. You know, this could be writing notes, it could be writing out your goals, it could be writing things that you're just thankful for. I know a lot of people have a positive focus where they'll write down the three positive things that happened the day before because so many good things happen in our life that we just take it for granted. So just having those daily affirmations and reminders of the good things that are happening in our life. You know, and there's just so many things that you can take down by writing a journal. I know others that are really huge fans of the Miracle Morning have the five minute journal that they just write down their notes so they can reflect on what's happened, the things that they've accomplished so that you don't forget all the good things in your life. The sixth part of the Miracle Morning is reading. And you can read whatever you want, whatever inspires you. You know, some people read the Bible. I've been reading a, a daily devotional by Tony Dungy and just a, one page that I read every single day and just kind of helps me put in that mindset. I also like just to read other things that are encouraging, whether it be quotes or different books that are just getting me primed for my day. 
Saving the best for last, the seventh part of the miracle morning is getting your sweat on exercising. Now, I never used to enjoy working out in the mornings. Actually, I mean, like I said, I didn't want to get out of bed in the mornings. But now my wife and I, we've been doing this morning routine where we're working out usually 30 minutes a day. And if I have extra time, I'll actually spend another 20 to 30 minutes working out by myself. So I'm getting in an hour of workout in every morning. And this is huge for me because now I'm getting so much accomplished. I'm getting 30 to 45 minutes of exercise. I'm reading, I'm writing, I'm praying, I'm meditating, I'm visualizing. All these things are being accomplished before seven o'clock in the morning, before my kids get out of bed. And in case you didn't know, I've got three kids. So I've got to get all this done before the craziness really sets in our household. And that's what excites me so much about the Miracle Morning. As I said, I was a night owl. I would stay up till one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, and I would always fool myself to thinking that I was being productive. But the reality was I wasn't being productive. I was on Facebook, reading Buzzfeed. I was just doing all these things that were not accomplishing anything. And now by going to bed a little bit earlier and waking up two to three hours before I used to, now my time is productive. And I'm doing so many things that are so much more important for me, for personal growth and for spiritual growth. So if you're a night owl and you think you have no hope of becoming a morning person, I encourage you to check out The Miracle Morning by Hal Elrond. Do it, he offers a 30 day Miracle Morning challenge, which it literally will change your life. So set your alarm, get up, have your Miracle Morning. This is Jeff Rose from goodfinancialsense.com. Take care.